Hello everyone, and welcome back to Figure Review. On this episode, I'm kicking off my look at WWE Elite 33 with Batista. Although in this attire, he is certainly known as Blue Tista. And if you're a TNA fan, you might just think it's the world, uh, the greatest man who ever lived, Austin Aries. But it is Batista, uh, despite his very peculiar look. Uh, this is from uh, Extreme Rules 2014, when he teamed with, uh, of course, back up with Evolution, Randy Orton and uh, Triple H. And uh, they added a few uh, nifty accessories. Let's take a look. Uh, now, Batista, not one to shy away from ridiculous fashion trends. Got his little uh, beige hat here. And uh, his nice blacked out shades. Let's take a look underneath. Uh, but probably one of the better fitting pairs of glasses from Mattel. Obviously a hard accessory to make. But as you see, he's got his beard and uh, and all his hair there. Obviously Mattel getting a lot of distance out of the scan. It's been on like every new Batista uh, just about. Uh, now this one has a very interesting uh, bald patch in the back, which I think is a pretty cool. Usually stuff like that is taken out of figures. <clears throat> Mr. Hogan. Uh, as you see, he's got a nice blue vest. Uh, that was from one of his uh, promos on the on the road to WrestleMania 30. Uh, let me lose the vest, and I'll show you all the nice tattoos underneath. There's the animal, and uh, there's some nice detailing on this vest, too, uh, considering it's not really painted much. There is a lot of, you know, a lot of, um, straps and pocket design and zippers. Pretty cool. Pretty cool overall. And then, as you see, we have Batista. He's got a, to go along with that brand new skin, he's got a brand new, uh, so far, Batista exclusive torso. Uh, he's got his blue arm wraps from the event. Uh, tattooed to the fullest. I mean, nothing is cooler than seeing Batista's back tat in full color on a figure. It's such a cool thing. Um, you obviously wouldn't get to see unless you either know Batista or got a nice zoom on your, uh, on your TV from WWE Network. Get a nice little look there. So to see them in this type of detail, always awesome. And you can see the modified Gracie logo on the back. Uh, it's got blue and knee pads with black trim, uh, blue uh, leg uh, leg wraps, I guess, and then light baby blue boots. A very cool and unique Batista figure to stand out in your collection. Definitely uh, suggest picking it up. Uh, with all these nice accessories um, and the nice detail, there are there is uh, maybe one small thing that I don't particularly care for too much. It's the fact that the beard is like just painted on. Uh, obviously, I know he went through a lot of looks within his short return uh, in 2014, but I still feel like they should have just held out and at least added a molded beard onto this already existing scan. So, with all that said, and all those nice accessories, uh, I'm actually going to give this guy an 8 out of 10, because I feel like as cool as the hat and the vest and stuff are, we probably could have got something a little nicer. Uh, what that is, I don't particularly know. But uh, overall, I just feel like this figure is a little ways off from being perfect. But the actual wrestling figure himself is very excellent. I just think we could have got something a little more interesting for accessories. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more Elite 33 reviews, including, of course, Roman Reigns, uh, Seth Rollins, and uh, Cesaro.